Thank you so much. Folks, a lot of you don't know the history behind this piece of property here back in 2006. We had a pickup load, not a pickup, but a tractor trailer load of cigarettes that was hijacked in Walton, Kentucky. That load of cigarettes was valued in the neighborhood of over two million dollars. It ended up down in Miami, Florida, and then eventually made its way on this spot. A warehouse located on this spot housed a portion of those cigarettes. The FBI, ATF, joined together on an investigation that's now referred to as Major Case 253, or better known as Operation Secondhand Smoke. <laughs> Through that investigation and with the help of our U.S. Attorney's Office, we were able to seize this property along with millions of dollars in asset forfeitures. We are so thankful to the FBI, to Matt Bullwinkle, Dave Earhart, Chief Randy Tudor of Pontotoc, who was our handler, an undercover handler in this particular case. All the men and women that had a hand in this investigation and that saw the need of the Tupelo Police Department, we could have sold this property and pocketed the, the change, so to speak, but we needed this property for our police headquarters. We've been searching for the right location for this police department for quite some time. Three administrations have worked to help locate a property and then the opportunity arose where we could actually seize this property and build our new police headquarters. To the men and women that actually worked in this investigation, everything from the U.S. Attorney's Office, all the federal agencies involved, thank you, thank you so much. There's so many people to thank. I do want to recognize our, our council for being here, uh, Mayor Neely and uh, Mayor Reed, thank you so much for being here. Uh, we started off with uh, Mayor Neely and I would like to give Mayor Neely an opportunity uh, to say a few words. Uh, I was ready to turn the deed to this property over to the city of Tupelo. And Mayor Jack Reed uh, was the one that actually received that deed of trust. And we began our, our mission forward to go forward at that point. I'd uh, like for Mayor Reed to say a few words. Well, his primary mission uh, to get this accomplished was our present chief, Chief Barty Gary. So let me join you in giving him a hand for his work. <laughs> a long uh, night, but a long weekend's worth of stories, I'm sure, about all the, the backdoor things. When I, after I was elected, but before I uh, was sworn in, I got a call from Mayor Neely. They asked me if I could come down to City Hall to uh, a meeting. I said, sure, but whatever. I'm thinking, you know, maybe uh, I need to work, brush up on my Japanese, Toyota's coming in, something like that. And I go into this closed room in the uh, city hall and that I meet the FBI. This is FBI. This is the acronym, acronym, acronym of the uh, the rest of the, the federal people. This is, you know, the, the uh, this is our attorney. This is our federal attorney office. And I said, and yes, you know, I said, now, before we tell you this, uh, if you say anything about this, we'll have to kill you. I said, okay, yeah. You know, maybe the mayor's job is uh, maybe not what I thought I was going to. I didn't realize there was going to be so much uh, CSI kind of involved in it. But, uh, but they did tell me back, and Mayor Neely and the others said, we've got this uh, sting operation going on. You need to, to know about it. And so they, they told me about it. 
And uh, and here we are today at the end of it. I won't rehash all the, the trails, but they were trailing the cigarettes. They were trailing the men that were cigarettes. cigarettes. They were trailing Indian tribes in the West. They were trailing uh, just the, the trail of, of money. And then the, with our... Uh, uh, with, with our team, our, the federal investigators too, you know, we're just keeping up with all the, the assets that these criminals are buying. I mean, we we're trying to keep up with that. We're, we're, make sure we keep your eye on that airplane. We got to get, you know, generally you think a drug dealer stings, you say, well, you get to keep the Camaro. You know, this is our Camaro. This, this, is, our, this is our Camaro, this spot. And we kept saying all along, this, what a perfect spot between the the jail and the justice center and the city court right here on uh, Front Street to be an anchor between the downtown and the bridge to the Park Hill community right next to the now beautiful Front Street Park that we've got right here, a walking trail now that that park is sort of Tupelo Central Park. You can walk from downtown on a safe sidewalk all the way, walk around that park, come by here. Easy access to 45 and 78. I mean, this is obviously, this was meant to be here. And so I appreciate the uh, the council members that served during uh, my term. I see, of course, some of them are still on the council. I see them here, Mr. Pitts and others that uh, that hung in there with us through this uh, through the opportunity. And uh, and I'm just so proud of this for our, our town. You know, we are of of all the opportunities I did have as being mayor. Two of the I thought the most poignant and the most serious ones were. Uh, thanking and keeping an eye and honoring both our, our police and firemen and then our National Guardsmen. The FBI office, U.S. Attorney's office. Uh, seems like we were always in a meeting uh, doing face-to-face -face with the um, bad guys out there. And uh, there was nothing more enjoyable than to sit across a uh, conference table uh, doing what uh, we call a proffer, uh, where we actually tell the bad guys what they did wrong and we told them our case we told them what uh, what all we had on them and said you got to get better give it up you know we we got you on this one so uh but uh, we we uh we just thank y'all uh for what you did this uh particular area here is in ward four this is a miss nettie davis's ward and she has been on the city council for the last three uh, terms. Greetings to all of you on this very special occasion as we break ground for a long-awaited police administration complex. Challenges, failures, obstacles all played a role in acquiring this much-needed facility. Chief Harold Chaffin, who was the chief at the uh, beginning of all this, uh, when we were first uh, re approached by the FBI to uh, put a task force officer on this case, uh, we had to convince uh, Chief Chaffin and uh, Mayor Neely uh, that we needed to give up a full-time Tupelo Police Department officer and embed them in the, into this um, secret uh, operation and uh, we had that officer already in place he was a detective at the time he had the character he had the knowledge he had the ability he had everything that the FBI wanted to work on this case uh, men and women of the Tupelo Police Department will be very proud of this this time, I'd like to give Mayor Shelton an opportunity to say a few words. As he said, it's a little bit of a cloudy and rainy day, but it's a great day in the city of Tupelo. This is uh, literally a decade in the making. And then, you know, they say good things come to those that wait. Uh, well, today, this is what we've been waiting for uh, to break ground on this tremendous new facility. Uh, you know, Mayor Neely, uh, really got the ball rolling and this is a project without his financial stewardship for the city of Tupelo uh, being such a good steward uh, we would not be in the position that we are here today uh, to have such a, a facility and if it was not for the tenacity of Mayor Reed in pushing it forward 
uh, we wouldn't be here today. Uh, but I am, as I stand here before you today, uh, with I just thought three, but uh, Mayor Ovis, four mayors have now, uh, I hate to use the word dealt with, it, but uh, worked on this project. But I'm proud that there will not be another mayor that works on it. Uh, we're going to break ground today, and we're going to have in in about a year a wonderful facility that uh, is fitting of the men and women that wear the uh, uniform of the Tupelo Police Department. And <laughs> so it's a great day. Thank you, uh, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the Sheriff's Department, the uh, other law enforcement uh, agencies. Uh, this is truly a team effort and um, it's something that City of Tupelo is very proud of. Thank you to CDF for being here. Uh, the ribbon cuttings, uh, you know, it's that's one of the things that it wouldn't bother me if I did two or three a day every day. It's always good news. Whether it's more jobs, whether it's new facility, whether it's a new location, it's a positive thing and today is very positive uh, for the City of Tupelo. Thank you for bringing this up. I know there's a lot of folks out here that I haven't mentioned that uh, needs to be recognized as well. Uh, Sheriff, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for our partnership. Uh, you couldn't ask for a, a better sheriff and uh, that partnership and relationship that we have. And I just want to thank you for that. Uh, I'm ready to get this uh, groundbreaking started. So if y'all want to...